We're still doing the uh, the watch party thing at my church like we've been doing for the past Sunday vlog or two. Call time is 7. It's 627. I better go. It's an epic battle today between two mighty Shelton Jazz Masters. Which one's gonna get the nod, huh? You got teal blue-ish on the left. Hey, Fiesta red on the right. I think I'm gonna go with with old blue over here today. Going with the line six helix today. Oh, there it is. There I see it. Helix, Shelton, can't go wrong. That's the rig. Check it out. Call time is upon us, 7 a.m. I'm set up, pro tip. You should have your stuff set up before call time comes. You should be sound checked. So you don't waste everyone's time. Hey, how about a drone intro this time? The drone intros are back, Angelo. They are? Yeah. So I've had questions before from people about what our Sunday morning uh, schedule is, our flow is for the worship team. And so I'll talk about what, what we do during, you know, COVID, during our watch party services. It's pretty much the same as usual. We have a call time. Typically our call time is what, John 6.15? So we have a yeah, 6.15, 6.30 call time. Call time for us is like we, we need to have our stuff set up in place. So like if you're a guitar player, like for me, I have whatever I'm using set up plugged in that means I get here at six I get here 15 minutes early and that's what we expect from most people I think and at 6 15 we start our call time we start with a devotional time so we have and and it can be led by our worship leader or a volunteer or somebody on staff uh, it can really be anybody but we do a short devotional maybe five minutes we pray together and then we walk through the order of service okay and after that then we get in place we do a line check and then we run the service front to back. We call that a run through. So call time, devotional first, walk through the order of service, do the run through. At this point, we have expected people to know what the heck they're supposed to play and sing and how they get from one transition to the next. If we're doing a Sunday morning rehearsal, which is rare, but we are doing that here during the watch parties during the COVID thing. Hey, hey, how's it going? Um, we do a Sunday morning rehearsal, then we give ourselves a little extra time and we go through the songs, but again, we expect people to come having everything pretty much memorized. We don't use rehearsal time or run through time to learn songs. That is a waste of time and disrespectful to pretty much everyone involved. So if you're doing that currently, that's something that, that I think is an easy way to sort of up the level of excellence and it just requires communicating to your team how important it is to come to rehearsal or come to Sunday morning prepared. Uh, so then what we do after we do our run through is we have a huddle. We do that here in this large room called our rotunda and that's with all the volunteers from the whole church from every, every sort of uh, department and usually our pastor or somebody on staff leads another devotional time <laughs> and we pray again together and we just get ready for the morning and then usually we have like 20 or 25 minutes to spare and i think that that's really important for people because um I've been in situations where, and even here sometimes too, where it's like service starts, at eight, our first service starts at 8.45, and it's 8.44 and we're still practicing through stuff. That's usually a bad, that stresses everybody out. And like, you know, you go into service like, you're on edge and you haven't had time to connect with people. Um, and that's just, I feel like it's worth it to ask people to get up 30 minutes earlier and be here 30 minutes earlier on time to give yourself room to breathe in the mornings. You need to build that in. That's what we do here. That's been a real blessing uh, for everyone involved. And it allows people just to rest before service starts and then, uh, and then hit it. And then we, uh, we do a countdown, so in the green room we'll kind of huddle up five minutes before. During, this, during our watch parties it's a completely different service type, but typically we'll start you know, with worship. And so you know, if, if it's 8.45 is our service time, at 8.40 we'll get together in the green room, pray together, and I'll go out on stage and get ready to go, and then we'll hit it. So that's basically in a nutshell what our Sunday morning schedule looks like 
pre-COVID and kind of post-COVID as well. Hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Goodness, Angelo. What up, bro? In the first, or I don't remember, one of the verses and praises, I hit an open string in the no! in the wrong key. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the video right now. Come on, we give him all honor, all honor to his name. That was a jazz note. I, I played some jazz notes too. Dude. I mean, everybody has to play I jazz was all notes. by myself. You were. You were naked. Man, praise this song got in my head today. I almost had it and almost played it perfectly the second service, but I did botch a note in the chorus. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I'm going to end it with that. Today was not my day, Chris. What did you do? I played, kept playing an open string in praises uh, that was not in the key. Uh, yeah. Bum, bum. The drummer played the key though. The drummer was always playing in the right always key. Always in the right key. You did a great job, Chris. You too. <laughs> Thanks, you man. Too, All right, so there you go. Sunday vlog. Out.